What up, YouTube? Apple Jets. How you guys doing? Um, hope you guys had a great Easter. Um, just uh, wanted to show off, show off some stuff I've gotten in recently. Uh, some really sick stuff. Um, I'll start off with a uh, package I actually just got today from a uh, care package from a member on here named uh, ML Foster 100. I'm gonna put his link down there. Go check it out. Um, go give him a sub. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've been helping him out with his PC uh, over the past few months. Just you know giving him some deals and some cards and he uh, told me he was sending me a package and uh, I just got it in today and uh, some really some really cool stuff in here he gave me some stuff for my uh, Jets PC here um, yeah, Pro Set Bruce Coslett this is a uh, it's a little bit before my time as a Jets fan he was in the early 90s and I was just uh, I was still pretty young I was born in 88 so I was I was still pretty young, so I don't remember him very much. But I was probably going to show this card to my dad. He's probably going to think it's pretty cool because my dad obviously knows all the older Jets coaches, so he'd probably like this card. And um, they sent me uh, a couple of Vernon Golston rookies, uh, a couple of Dustin Keller rookies from Upper Deck Exclusive. These are really nice looking cards. I don't remember the set, but uh, really nice looking cards. Um, a couple of Eric Ainge rookies and a. Um, NFL Showdown sports card game, uh, Mo Lewis. This is really sick. He was one of my favorite Jets of all time. Uh, a very good Jets linebacker um, in the 90s and early 2000s. So that is very cool. So thank you, Michael. Uh, very appreciate appreciate it very much. Go give him a sub, guys. And I will be sending you a PM to thank you personally. Um, this is for my Kevin Jones PC. Um, he actually included this this card, this uh, 04 Pro, Upper Deck Diamond Pro Sigs Auto, um, just because he was a little bit late in sending. He did, wasn't necessary. I already have the card, but I can always use another one. So that's cool. And this is the card I wanted. Uh, I traded for really sick. 04 Contenders Round Numbers, Kevin Jones, Steven Jackson Dual Auto. Very, very sick. Numbered 63 out of 100. So that's a huge addition to the Kevin Jones PC, and it helps that you also got great Pro Bowl running back on top there in Steven Jackson so I really like that card and of course I didn't have it uh, next package it's for the Aurelius Ben PC bought this card um, off somebody on uh, blowout yeah my first National Treasures card uh, 2010 National Treasures NFL gear Aurelius Ben dual ball jersey auto really really sick number two out of ten so really like this card Nice clean auto for the really Ben PC. Uh, next package, another card um, I traded for for my really Ben PC. Another one I didn't have. Really sick. I've been wanting to get this one ever since it came out. 07 Gridiron Gear Rookie Gridiron Gems really Ben Pullout Auto. Very very sick. Nice on the white jersey there with the gold autograph. Very 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 nice. And um, these are actually lower numbered than most of those pull-out autos. This one's at a 186, so this is one of the harder ones to get. So very happy to get that for the PC. And then um, this next card is absolutely nasty, dirty, dirty. This is one of the, this is the thickest card I own, bar none. From the new Upper Deck Exquisite for the Aurelius Ben PC Rare Materials. Dual helmet, dual jersey, numbered 44 out of 60. This card is absolutely sick. Look how thick this card is. The guy didn't even have anything to stick it in. But, uh, yeah, if you look real close at the uh, helmet piece there, it's got the uh, warning label, all the, all the, uh, it's embedded, and it's really, really sick. You can see, like, part of the warning label on the back of the helmet, so that is absolutely sick. It looks like it's part of the helmet from the Illinois helmet, which I'm assuming. This isn't a Bucks helmet. So uh, that's pretty, all pretty awesome right there. We're 44 out of 60, and I uh, really like this card. I don't know how I'm going to store it because it's gigantic, but uh, I'll find a way. Now this next package all came in a trade from somebody on a sports card form. And um, first, I just picked this up as part of the trade for trade bases available for anybody's interested at 2010 Panini Threads Javid Best Rookie Collection three color patch. So that is for trade numbered out of 50, 37 out of 50. These next two are for the Jets PC. Um, from uh, Bowman Sterling 2010, a Joe McKnight Gold Refractor Patch, numbered 15 out of 25. Really like the look of this card, pretty sick. Joe McKnight two color patch, Gold Refractor out of 25. And this last card is uh, one of my favorite 
one of my new favorites in my Jets PC. Um, I saw this in the guy's bucket. I just had to have it. Um, 2010 Absolute Memorabilia Groundhogs. It's a um, it's a patch card of Sean Green, numbered out of uh, two out of twenty. But what makes this card really sick is look at the patch. It's kind of covered up because the patch window is pretty small. But check out the patch on that. It's from the Jets logo on the uh, shoulder of the jersey. Of course, they have them pictured in the Titans uniform, of course, but in the Jets throwback uni. But it's from the patch that you get right there on the on the side of the Jets uh, shoulder, right up there on the jersey. Absolutely sick. One of the sickest patches in my Jets PC. You can see like the edge of it, and then you can see part of the uh, of the of the N or the Y outline up there. It's really really sick. So one of my new favorite cards from my Jets PC. Um, just dirty dirty patch. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's about it. Don't have any boxes in coming. I'm going away um, this weekend, so I'm saving up my money. And uh, but that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace.